Russian Z blogger and volunteer Vladimir Grubnik said that due to the lack of reserves in the Russian army, even servicemen of the strategic missile forces are being transferred to the infantry for assaults, that is, the very nuclear weapons that Putin constantly shakes, in which case there will soon be no one to launch them. Missile men are being sent to storm the plantings of the Donetsk region. Do we really have no reserves at all? Grubnik asks in the video. The Z blogger also does not understand who exactly will launch the missiles if such a question arises before the Russian leadership. It was previously reported that even air defense crews are being transferred to assault units. That is, of course, a very serious signal. One can imagine the level of losses if it has already come to this. People comment on the Z blogger's confession on the internet. Tatiana Montian, a collaborator who betrayed Ukraine and fled from Kiev to occupy Donetsk after the war started, admitted in an interview that the Russian army's losses are colossal. Responding to the presenter's objection that the Russian side does not publish a list of losses, Montian said that in recent weeks, a large number of people she knew personally had died on the front. The collaborator is engaged in supplying occupation units as Z volunteer, communicating directly with Russian soldiers. They don't look at losses. The front stands plus minus. We communicate with people. What is the number of missing? What is the number of dead? Well, even among our friends, the losses are huge. There are a lot of people who have been fighting since time immemorial that were killed only recently, she said. Recently, the Wall Street Journal, citing intelligence and undisclosed sources, reported a grim milestone. About one million Ukrainians and Russians have been killed or wounded since the war began. The majority of dead are soldiers on both sides, followed by Ukrainian civilians. According to government figures in the first half of 2024, three times as many people died in Ukraine as were born. The death toll is impossible to verify. More than 71,000 Russian soldiers have been identified and confirmed to have been killed in Ukraine, according to a late September report by the independent Russian media outlet Mediazona. Using open source research, Mediazona has been documenting the names of Russian soldiers killed, verifying the information through obituaries, posts by relatives, statements from local authorities and other public reports. Leaked U.S. documents suggest that more Russian soldiers have been killed than previously estimated. In July, The Economist reported that between 462,000 and 728,000 Russian soldiers had been killed, injured or captured by mid-June, citing documents by the U.S. Department of Defense. Russia's losses in Ukraine since 2022 dwarf the number of casualties from all its wars since the Second World War combined. The Economist reported, referring to wars in Chechnya, Afghanistan and Ukraine from 2014 until February 2022. A man who died in a small plane crash during a New Mexico air show was an accomplished pilot who had performed stunts at hundreds of air shows. Las Cruces city officials said Monday that Charles Thomas, Chuck, Coleman was the only person on board a monoplane when it crashed during the Las Cruces Air and Space Expo. Authorities say Coleman was performing aerobatic Sunday when the plane crashed about a half mile west of the airport. Coleman's website says he was based out of California and was an engineer and an aerobatic and test pilot with more than 10,000 hours of flight time. It says he was an aerobatic flight instructor for actors in the 2022 movie, Top Gun, Maverick.
and our district team is on their way. As we talk to that clock, they are first on the scene. I already see them on their way. We're talking right now from the bank. We have the fire department on their stand with us. We are rolling set. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we have fire and rescue on the way. Frost, our own team for air shows and air racing, our first responders. Kraken, special unit of the main intelligence department under the Ukrainian Defense Ministry has released the footage of the battle for the forest area near Lipsy village of Kharkiv region. As a result of the operation, the special forces cleared a large area, killing a large number of invading soldiers and capturing a group of them. It should be noted that as a result of several days of consecutive operations in the forest area near the village of Lipsy, 400 square meters of land was cleared of Russian invaders. In addition, three motorized rifle battalions and an intelligence unit of the Russian army were destroyed.